Morning, guys. Ignore this, okay? So stuff went sideways. The video that I had planned for today totally tanked when I was in editing. <laughs> so we are filming a video that I was going to film for next week, um, but I didn't have time to like, you know, make myself look pretty. <laughs> So uh, we are doing some plant chores and I'm gonna give you some plant updates. Um, also, I'm gonna give you an update today on the plant art situation because I've been asked about that a few times. So the framing of the leaves that we did as well as the leaves that were sitting in water. Um, I did video those updates, so I will be inserting those in here. And then I'm gonna kind of let you know how the whole downsizing the collection is going like after you know the fact after we decided what we're getting rid of so uh, that's what today's video is about um yeah so if you're new here hi hello welcome my name is Nikki and I don't normally look like this it's bad <clears throat> so and this is the thing because I'm blonde if I don't wear like eyeliner mascara do my eyebrows I look like Pink Floyd in the wall after he like goes crazy and shaves off his eyebrows it's not good. Anyway, um, so, and if you are returning, like my wonderful, lovely gluttons for punishment that you are, sorry, I don't usually uh, film with this camera this way. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm a mess today. Anyway, oh my gosh. Thank you for coming back for more. I love you to bitty bits. So I'm gonna get off here because <laughs> this is just stressing me out so badly. And I'm going to post this anyway. I'm going to post it anyway because this is real life and sometimes we look like shit. It's, it's okay. Let's just get into some plant chores and updates. Okay, so first of all, um, this is just going to be kind of vloggy style, uh, almost like a day in the life because I just have like a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, with my plants and just with the house in general. So I guess you just get like a day in the life of Nikki. It's, I don't know how exciting that's going to be. <laughs> but here we are and here we go. So um, last week you guys saw my video of me going through my entire collection, deciding what I wanted to keep, what I didn't want to keep. Uh, I did get a few questions about how many I ended up getting rid of. The final answer, actually, hold on, did I count? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14, I know there's another one, 15, 16, 16 plants, I think. Yeah, so we ended up deciding we we're gonna get rid of 16 plants. I believe that is the final total. So what I did the other day is I walked around and I um, watered all the plants that need watering. I gave everything a good treatment again um, because I've got like an active outbreak because of the season and whatever. I wanna make sure that I'm treating on an ongoing basis. So right now I'm treating every single time I water where normally I would do it like every other time or like once a month or something like that. Uh, but I wanna make sure that the situation doesn't get out of control. So again, I'm doing it once a week. <clears throat> so anyway, I went through and I took off all the plants that I was getting rid of, which on this shelf, it doesn't look like it helped a whole lot, but Compared to what it was, there was about five or six plants in each row. And now on this shelf, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight all together. And you can more so see each individual plant, which I really, really enjoy. Same with down here. Things aren't as crowded. I've got my tortum there. I've got my um, gigantium, uh, the snowdrift, the nangara tents, and my... Um, Piriso Verde. So this corner is still seemingly a little bit crowded, but if you kind of like do a comparison to what it looked like and what it looks like now, it's much better. Um, <clears throat> same with this side. So there really, there's only four plants down here. Oh, 17. I forgot about this one. I got to take this Melanocrysum out of here. Uh, so there's only four plants here. The Albo, the... Um, uh, <laughs> 
uh, I no, <laughs> Monstera Esqueleto. Oh, Nikki, come on. Uh, the Pink Princess and the Mamey. Um, so there's only four there, so that's fine. They're really tall. The poles are really tall, so I can't really, oh, P.S. Look at, we got a new leaf and it has, it's a half moon. It's got green on the other side. So thank goodness, because this poor sad thing just uh, isn't gonna make it. Uh, up here looks so much better. You can see the individual plants better. You can look at this shelf and go, oh look, a dragon scale. Oh look, a philodendron plowmanii, a Jose Bono, a reflector, an El Chaco, an Aurea. And abilita. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so much easier and it, it isn't as hard on your eye as that like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's a technical term. Uh, it means absolute mess. Um, I still have to get this plant off of here. I have to go through and treat all of this side, but I did pull all the ones out, treat those and put them on the table that I was getting rid of. So, so we're, we're doing okay. This one, I, <laughs> I'm still trying to save it. I watered it, but clearly... We're not getting much better. Um, I went through these as well, pulled all the ones out that I was not keeping, kind of rearranged some stuff. Now it's not so cluttered. You can look in here now and see, well, let me open it so you can actually see in here. There we go. And now I know I said I was gonna get rid of this one, but I took it out and I had it on the counter and I was like, I don't know if I can do it. So I haven't really decided yet. So I just gave her a good water and uh, she's back in here. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass plant. Um, I did decide for now at least to keep this Syngonium pink spot. Um, I do think however that she's getting too much light so I may have to just like pull her out of there and put her somewhere um, not quite as bright. Uh, I ended up putting my begonia right front and center there because I think it looks nice in there. Um, for now, also, I am going to be keeping my Valeniorum. I took it out, gave her a good treatment. I uh, didn't see any active, ongoing pest issues. And I'm talking too fast, surprise. <clears throat> so the rest of all these um, are ones that I said I was gonna keep. I didn't renege on any of those ones. So those are all fine. Um, I took that pink princess out and replaced it with this huge um, Mangulopothos. But uh, I love this thing so much. These leaves are huge. Humongous. Love it. Okay. Um, so anyway, in the process of like, hi, do you want outside? Are you, <laughs> do you want to go outside? <laughs> Okay, let's let them outside. I have to clean off the back porch. If your back porch is anything like mine, it's where plants go to die. Uh, okay, you go outside. My whole back porch needs to be cleaned up. My whole backyard, period. Uh, so I was in the process of doing dishes. Um, Ivy is enjoying the sunshine. Hi, Ivy. Ivy. Hi, are you enjoying the sunshine, pretty girl? Yes. It's nice today, huh? Um, okay, so anyway, <clears throat> I need to just generally do some organizing. Uh, I wanna try to get everything, uh, I just, all of this stuff is the stuff I'm getting rid of. <laughs> I went yesterday, posted everything on Marketplace. Uh, one thing I do wanna say is, I haven't obviously responded to all of my comments yet. Um, <clears throat> I've been trying to get all of this sorted out and get some stuff done around here. Uh, and I will get to your comments, I promise you. I'm so sorry, I've really been slacking on that front lately. Um, I did have quite a few people in the comments and messaging me as well um, on Instagram, et cetera. I've gotten emails just about like um, how they find me on Facebook in order to, to buy some of these. And I will tell you that I really like to keep those two separate. I apologize. Um, you know, the people that are on my Facebook don't really make the connection. Usually that, you know, to who I am and that I have a YouTube channel. And I really like to keep those two things separate. That's just my personal preference. Um, so I apologize for those of you messaging me who want to know my account so that you can come and pick up plants from here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing that information. Um, 
some of you I know have made the correlation and now follow me because of, you know, plant sales and that's fine, but I'm trying to keep that as minimal as possible. Uh, so that's my own personal choice. And I'm sorry <laughs> that I can't share plants with everyone because I would love to be able to do that, but I just can't do it. Uh, safety and all of that jazz. So, okay. That aside, so now I have all of these plants here that I'm getting rid of. I also have my uh, glorious or my glorious back there that we're going to be potting in here. Um, what else? Oh, this is the Magnificum. Look how pretty these dead leaves are. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? The yellow isn't even as pretty on camera as it is in person. It's like this beautiful like autumn mustardy yellow color. Anyways, so that I'm willing to bet has root rot. So we're going to pull that out of there um, and we should be able to save the actual chonk. Um, we'll see how bad that is. What else do I have to do today? I've just been doing, oh, you know what we have to do? I don't know if I'm going to get to it today, but I still have this old <laughs> terrarium down here and it still has plants in it. There's a melanocrysum in there. There's a what else is in there? A varicosum, bunch of begonia, all kinds of crap. And it's just been sitting there and it's in my way and I hate it so much. Um, but I just haven't gotten around to actually <laughs> doing anything about that. Um, over here, we did some clearing out as well. Um, I took all the stuff off of this shelf that wasn't going to be staying and I kind of did some reorganization. Um, and I think it kind of hard to tell. I wish this was a wide angle lens. Goodness. Um, but it looks much neater, more organized. I have the shorter plants in the front, the larger ones in the back, and I've pulled some from other places to put here um, just to kind of give space on other shelves. So that's how that is going. Uh, the other thing I need to do, but I think will probably be a video all on its own because it's going to be <laughs> scary um, is I have to change that pot and put some new fresh soil in there and like I said in the last video I'm hoping that that's going to trigger this to um, to start growing again because I think I think that's the problem I think that's the problem process of elimination you know um, this is getting bigger check that out Woo! It's a big leaf. I also switched some stuff in around here. Oh, oh, I got a new plant. And before I point out which one it is, I'm gonna insert a clip right here of me opening it. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Check this out. Hey guys, okay, so this is just a really quick in quick interrupty impromptu unboxing. So I'll really quickly tell you the story. So after my video on my subscribers' favorite house plants, my Instagram friend Sherry, whose plants were actually featured in that video, she had a I believe it was an Anthurium warquanum and an allo a variegated Alocasia odora, and I was going on about how like I couldn't find one of these. I should have bought one back when they were cheap. Now they're really expensive, yada, yada, yada. So she was so sweet. She contacted me and was like, hey, Nikki, I've got like some pops. I'll send you one. And I'm like, no way. So she said, yes way, but like not verbatim. Anyway, so she just sent it to me. I just got the box and I'm going to open it for you. Um, I'm not going to do this uh, with my face on camera because, well, it's it's not camera ready but anyway I thought you could at least hear the excitement in my voice because I've wanted one of these for so long she did such a good job of packing it I should have had some place for these oh gosh I'm gonna make a mess let's see if I can get to it oh my oh my god you can see it oh, I'm gonna make a mess but I don't even care Oh, oh, Sherry. Girl, you said it was going to be tiny. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Jordan's standing here by. Isn't that beautiful? That is. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much, Sherry. Oh my God, I'm going to cherish this and 
oh my gosh, take care of it. And luckily I just got rid of like a whole bunch of plants. So now I have a little extra space on my shelves. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay. So again, a huge thank you, Sherry. That is so incredibly sweet and thoughtful and kind. And I'm going to get this potted up and, um, oh my gosh, just take such amazing care of it. Thank you so much. Whoo. I'm so excited. Thank you again, Sherry. That's so amazing. Uh, so here she is. She just, she's actually quite stiff still. This leaf we're going to lose, but I think this is one of the older ones. There's actually two plants in here. Uh, so there's this leaf here, this beautiful leaf, and then this one as well. What a gorgeous plant. I'm so happy to have this. Um, so I just stuck her in here for now in some moss. I am going to get her into um, a nice um, soil mix, uh, but I wanted to get her in the cabinet and into some better humidity. Um, what else? Oh, I want to show you in here. I was saying the other day how this probably wasn't going to turn, but you can see that it's starting to turn. It was facing like right up and down, but I think it's slowly starting to do one of these, which is kind of cool. Um, I also switched this guy. So this was over here, uh, not getting as much light. So I moved it right here so that we could get her some better light. Look how beautiful that coloring is. Is that focusing? Sort of. It's such a pretty plant. I can't wait till that gets much bigger. Anyway, this new leaf on my Soderoy, look at that. Oh, why do you focus on the wrong things? There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Um, so I think this plant being in here is doing much better. And I think we're going to start to see larger leaves. Now, I did see somebody comment that this was a Soderini. Um, it is not. <laughs> it is a Soderoi, but it's just been extremely difficult to, to get going. Um, but I think now we're going to start to see these larger leaves and it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Okay. So that was that update for those. So happy to have that new plant. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I don't know how many times I can say thank you, but I'm Canadian. So, you know, it's how we do. Uh, we also have to repot my fry deck. What else? What else? I don't know what else. Anyway, everything's a mess. I cleaned up a bunch of my plant stuff and it's all sitting right there and it has to go down into the basement. I just want to get things <laughs> situated and sorted because, you know, it's, it's almost Halloween. I haven't even decorated for fall this year. And if you know me, you know that that's like unheard of. I always have my Halloween decorations, my fall decorations everywhere. And literally there is not a lick of fall or Halloween decor in this house right now. And uh, I just can't bring myself to get it out now and, you know, end up putting it away in like a week. <clears throat> So I'm just going to really concentrate on getting the whole house together and in preparation. No, I'm going to work on getting the house ready in preparation for Christmas decorations <laughs> um, because I am a huge Christmas decoration fan. Um, usually my family refers to my decorating style as it looks like Santa walked in here and puked Christmas on my house. And I take that as a compliment <laughs> and they don't mean that it's like, um, like messy looking, you know, when you like drive past some people's houses and it looks like they stood on the sidewalk and threw the Christmas lights at the house and they stuck somewhere. Not like that, not like a hot mess. Um, but I just have a lot of Christmas decor. I love the Christmas season. It's cozy. It's family. It's amazing. And, um, I think I'm just procrastinating now from actually doing said chores. So why don't we go ahead and get started? <laughs> and then we're going to check that. I think we'll get that out of the pot and check that. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's do it. I 
from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Okay, so it's time to pop this scary thing out and see what's going on, although I don't think it's much of a shock. I'm pretty sure it's root rot. Ugh. Okay, let's move this chair. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little clean with me. I always, first thing in the morning, literally first thing in the morning, what I always do is uh, clean the kitchen because it just kind of starts my day off right uh, with a clean kitchen. And then it, it kind of gets me moving first thing in the morning. If I wake up in the morning and I just sit, 
I'm toast for the rest of the day. I can't do anything. I feel lazy all day and it's just not a good situation. So I love getting up in the morning and just cleaning up, making the house look tidy. And then I can kind of do the things, you know? Okay, so let's get some of this bag moss off the top here. All right. So we've got a lot of these old stems from old leaves that I've cut off. So I'm just gonna kind of pull those off. It looks like I almost tried to put a new, new leaf here, uh, but it's all dried up and cruddy, which indicates a huge problem to me. Okay, so let's move that. Ivy, that's not your chair. Thank you. Okay. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it while simultaneously not making a ginormous mess. Okay. Oh my God. Don't drop it. I gotta squeeze it a little. Ugh. <laughs> this is gonna be so messy. Oh no. Good thing I haven't vacuumed it. And this is exactly why I haven't. All right. Uh, oh, she's in there, man. It's at the bottom, so I have a feeling there's some roots hanging out at the bottom. Oh. Okay, there she comes. Okay, okay, yep, we do have some root rot. We definitely have root rot. But it's not actually as bad as I thought. Oh wait, oh, these are mushy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, relatable. Can you relate to this mess? Not the root rot thing. Well, maybe you can as well. I don't know. Um, especially when you're repotting larger plants, it, uh, it gets messy and it's hard to contain it. But that's why Dyson invented a, oh sh shoot. Okay. <laughs> That's why Dyson invented all of their lovely products for us people who make messes before they clean messes, you know? All right, I wanna get all of this soil off so we can take a really good look at the root system. Looks like there are some good ones there, but there is a lot of dead roots. So there's gonna be, that's a dead root. Um, there's gonna be a lot of nursing back to health here, but I can see on this side that there are some good roots. So it's just gonna be a matter of getting all that old junk off. This is funny, I haven't uh, given a plant root rot in a very long time, so. <laughs> and it's, it's also funny because I kind of knew that this pot was probably a bad idea. And I, when I put this over into this mix that it's in right now, um, I had, so where I got it from, it had, it was really, uh, spag heavy. Um, and I ended up just leaving it on there and I just mixed the whole thing with soil, which in retrospect, I mean, at the time I didn't think it was a great idea, but I did it anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and this is exactly why I knew it wasn't a good idea, but sometimes, you know, we know things are wrong and we do them anyway. And then we learn from it and then we're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So we live and we learn. This is what happens when you get lazy. This is a serious chunk. So right here is where this stem uh, starts. And like, look how long that thing is. Maybe I'll actually cut it down a little bit. And uh, cause right down here, it's still like the whole, actual stem is still really sturdy and healthy. So maybe I'll give it a couple cuts and we'll actually, um, I'll show you how I do that. <clears throat> and we'll grow some, some additional ones. Cause the roots up here at the top, as you can see, look really good. So we will cut it probably about here, replant this portion of it. 
Um, put it in my greenhouse. I'll cut these two leaves off because they're fully yellow at this point, so they're not providing the plant any further um, energy. And then we'll put it in the greenhouse, let that regrow, and then I'll cut the chunk into a couple different nodes, and then we can regrow some new Magnificum babies. That'll be fun, right? Fun, until your daddy takes the T-bird away. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this cleaned up. I won't uh, subject you guys to watching me tediously pull each little tiny piece of <laughs> sphagnum moss off. Then we'll come back, I'll get this all cleaned up uh, so you guys can really see what the root system looks like when it's clean of all of this junk. Okay, be right back. Bye. Okay, we got her all cleaned up here, so I'll get you up close so you can kind of see what the roots look like. If that's focusing on the roots. There we go. So we need to just take the scissors and get some of this older stuff off. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but there's definitely a little bit of uh, rot here to take care of. Fortunately, it didn't get to the point where it was um, like stinky rot. And sometimes you can really tell that a plant needs help because it gets super stinky. <laughs> um, so let me get you zoomed in here. Oh gosh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take a look. These roots look okay. There's, that one's all right. This one's broken. So we're just gonna go ahead and snip that right there. When a plant has this much <laughs> of a root system, sometimes this process is a little uh, time consuming, but you wanna try to get as much of the root uh, or the rot off as possible. And you can tell that a root is rotted because it will be squishy. Like when you squeeze it, it'll be squishy and usually um, like off colored. Um, there are some times, and I think I have an example here somewhere where <clears throat> there's a tip piece that's like nice and white and it looks fine, but yet up on the, um, like further up is a rotted part. And even though the tip is okay, that rod is just gonna continue to move down. Uh, so this is a good example. So the tip is nice and white, but this part here is rotted. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut that right off before that becomes a problem. This poor guy, I'm so sorry. This one's squishy. That's okay, that too squishy. I mean, it's not imperative that you get all of it, to be honest, it's not going to be a major issue. Um, the old parts of the roots, once it, you know, regains its health, will eventually just like fall off or disintegrate into the plant. So, but you wanna to try to get at least the bigger pieces um, and the ones that are starting higher up on the root tip it oh that's broken right off I think we got most of the oh there's another one that there. just do the best you can basically is what I'm saying oh god that just took me right in the face all right I think that's not too bad oh that one's broken there we go Okay, so it's not super perfect, um, but it's definitely, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> it's not super perfect, but it's definitely much better than it was. So I think <clears throat> I'm gonna get my trimmers and I think I'm gonna cut it right here and then this will be a separate plant. So let me grab my trimmers. We'll zoom you out a little. There we go. These things are so, so handy. OK. 
Okay, you want to get, see if I can get you so you can see right in there. There we go. Okay, so this is the one chunk with the two big yellow leaves and there's still like a pretty decent root system on that part. So I'm gonna set this in the sink, just let this dry out a little bit and give it a quick spray with my antifungal spray in hopes that, you know, any of the additional root rot that I've left on there doesn't create any further issues. Give her a little seat in the sink. There we go. And then we'll come back over here and take a look at this. So this still looks nice and white and healthy. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut this into a couple nodes. We'll do one right there. Oh, are you stuck? Don't be stuck. There you go. I'm trying not to get as much of the roots as possible. Okay, so there's one node. And then we'll do right here. There's another one. <clears throat> Probably get two, two more cuts here. I'm trying to keep the roots out of the way, but it can be tricky. All right. There's another one. And then this one. This, this is so weird. I gotta show you this up close because it's just odd looking. Can we focus? Isn't it just the weirdest looking? <laughs> you can see where previous uh, nodes were growing out of and then they were cut and then regrew to the side. So it's kind of like off center. It's kind of weird, very alien looking. And this one I'm gonna cut right through the center here. There we go. So this one just has a few roots. This one's a little dark in the center. It's got a little piece of rot there. So hopefully these will be okay, but we're gonna put them in some moss and uh, we'll baby them. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five plus the original plant. Excellent. Okay, um, so first we'll deal with these. Um, I'm gonna take these, I'll take you guys over. We'll put these in the sink, give them a good uh, spray with antifungal spray, and then we will throw them in some of my Ziploc bags and put them into my uh, greenhouse. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm actually just going to use um, one bag for this. I'm going to set some moss on the bottom here. And I'm gonna set them on top. There's enough moisture in here and so that it doesn't really matter if the roots are like buried down into the, uh, the moss, the new roots will find their way. And once we see some signs of some new growth on these, we'll go ahead and pluck them out and put them into their own little containers. If you can get some of the roots down in there, that's fine, but it's honestly not crazy necessary because there's going to be so much moisture in this bag that the roots are just going to kind of go crazy. So you want to zip it up most of the way and we're going to blow some air in there. There we go. Okay. So all of them are in here. See, it just looks like a massive I don't even know what <laughs> creepy things. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set that in my greenhouse and we'll just go ahead and uh, keep our eyes on it for some new growth. And then as they pop new growth, we'll pop them out and into their own little moss container. Okay. There's that one. 
Okay. Uh, now the next one, I want that uh, big plant to dry out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for a few more minutes. And let's clean back out this sink again. Story of my life, these poor sinks. And since I found these little silicone things, these are like a lifesaver. Cause you can wash whatever you want in here. Um, and all the soil, moss, chunks of anything get stuck in these. And then you just pick them up and take them over to the garbage and dump them out. Bob's your uncle. <sighs> okay. So what am I going to do in the meantime? Okay, and as promised, I'm giving you a little update on the plant art. So I found this really interesting, actually. So this is just over two months of being in this frame. Um, okay, so you can see we've got some different results. These two at the bottom, which I believe was a Pothos and Joy, and I believe this was a Syndapsis uh, Silvery Ann, our Exotica, our Neon Pothos. This was a Marble Queen. This was a Golden, I, be I believe, unless I have those two switched, but I think that's right. And then this is a Silver Splash Syndapsis. So you can see we've got some really cool varying results here. So we have the Syndapsis Exotica and it literally looks like the day I put it in there. Isn't that wild? Okay, moving along. These two, not so much. They look a little raunchy. Here, 
this pothos is still great. It honestly looks like the day I put it in there. This syndapsis, nah. I mean, after two months, it doesn't look horrible. And then these two pothos, I kind of like the color of this one, but this one definitely browned out. So <laughs> this is a really cool little experiment, actually, because we could take more exotica leaves and make like this whole thing. If they're going to hold up like that, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I think this is so interesting. What do you think we should do? Should we take some more exotica leaves and like make a whole like, I don't know. And, and this one, I mean, I'm kind of excited about this. It's very interesting. It's been hanging on my wall in the opposite side of my bedroom and I kind of don't look at it every day. Um, so I didn't really know what the results were going to be because it's not something I look at all the time. So I really find this interesting. What do you guys think of this? Do you find it interesting? Am I getting excited about nothing? I don't know. Let me know. But I wanted to show you that. <laughs> okay, so let's go back and uh, I'll let you guys go because this video has been long enough and weird enough and <laughs> I'm tired. So I think I'm actually just going to leave this overnight to make sure it's like really nice and dry. So I'll go ahead and just end the video here um, because it's probably long enough. I planned on doing other stuff in this video, but I think it's just going to be too long. So I hope you enjoyed today's little clean and plant chore with me. Um, I'm really hoping that these go quickly so that I don't have all these plants that I have to like shuffle back and forth between like the table and the counter because it's kind of inconvenient. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help for my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you already are subscribed or you were subscribed, please check and make sure you're still subscribed because I've heard, I mean, not just me, this is happening to like tons of people where YouTube is just unsubscribing them like constantly and it's really frustrating. I'm not really sure that I understand why YouTube's doing that, but just make sure you're still subscribed with your notifications on so that you are notified when I do post. I upload videos every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm gonna try eventually to get back into the Tuesday uh, at 10 a.m. as well. Um, but for now, I can at least guarantee Fridays at 10 a.m. <laughs> so I would like you all to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all to bitty bits, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!